Hey everyone, I hope you're well. I have some incredible news to share about Apex Legends. Next week, we're getting a big content update with more free skins, a new limited time game mode, and special challenges. There will also be a new double XP bonus event. Respawn has also shared some juicy details about Season 2, and I'll get onto that after explaining what's coming to Apex Legends next Tuesday. So, what's on the menu? Well, out of nowhere, Respawn has confirmed that next Tuesday, a new legendary R301 skin will be given to all Battle Pass owners, and all players who reach Battle Pass level 15 will get this Wraith legendary skin. The big news though comes in the form of a brand new legendary hunt event. This will be a limited time event that will last just two weeks. In this event, there will be a number of things. Firstly, there will be a number of limited time challenges to complete. If you complete them, you'll unlock new, rare, epic and legendary skins. There will also be a new game event called the Apex Elite Queue. If you make it to the top 5 of a match, your next match will queue you up with other top 5 teams from previous matches. I'm not sure if there will be rewards for staying in the queue, but you can stay in the Apex Elite queue so long as you keep coming top 5. There will also be two big bonus XP buffs. The first will be a 2 week long free level each day essentially. All you have to do is finish top 5 in a match to get a free battle pass level and you can repeat this once per day. Secondly, from June 7th to June 10th, all XP earned will be doubled. This includes XP from both the battle pass and also just from general leveling. So ultimately, if you need to get the battle pass completed and you were worried you wouldn't be able to, starting next week you'll have two weeks to power through it. If you've already completed the battle pass, you'll still be able to take part in the challenges to unlock the new skins. I've seen that a lot of people are now smurfing for an attempt at better cosmetics and the Wraith heirloom, so with double XP for two weeks, it could be a good chance at that too. Finally, and yes, there is more, there will be new legendary hunt themed skins in the in-game store for direct purchase every three to four days. I'm not sure if these will be recolors like before or if they will be unique skins. We will have to wait and see. Wow, that's a huge bundle of content out of nowhere. Here's a quick summary. The Apex Elite Top 5 Q, Legendary Hunt Challenges and Skin Rewards, Double XP Weekend, Battle Pass Bonus XP, Legendary Hunt Skins in the Store, a new R301 Legendary and Wraith Legendary added to the Battle Pass. So that's really quite interesting. What's great is that a lot of questions have been answered right here by straight action from Respawn. People wanted more bonus XP events, we've got them. People wanted more skins, we've got them. And people wanted challenges, we've got them. All in season one. Okay, next, let's talk about season two. Respawn also briefly shared some more details on season two with us. Firstly, season two will be unveiled fully and likely the new map change legend and weapon will be shown on June 8th at 10 a.m. PST. Okay, so Respawn announced today that Season 2 will have challenges. They will have daily and weeklies that can be completed. You can come back later in the season to complete any challenges you may have missed as well. Completing these challenges will earn you more progress through the battle pass. The challenges may be quite basic though, because Respawn doesn't want to force players to potentially ruin their chances of success for a win. Here is what they had to say. While we don't want to introduce wacky challenges that drastically warp the way you play the game, these challenges should provide some interesting variation from game to game. This means all players should feel more rapid battle pass progression and the journey will hopefully be more fun and interesting. Also, this addition should allow players who can only dedicate a few hours a week to the game to make a very deep cut into their battle pass progression. Next, Respawn confirmed there will be more legendary skins this time. You'll get one by purchasing the battle pass, one at level 25, then 50, then 75, and then at 100 you'll get another evolving legendary weapon skin. A recolor will be available at level 110. In Season 2, stat tracker rewards, like Season 2 wins, will not be in the battle pass. You also won't get your level badge as a reward either. 
Instead, your Battle Pass level badge will just evolve each time you level up. Interestingly, there will also be three new cosmetic types. We don't know what they'll be, but they will be added in the Season 2 Battle Pass and will be unveiled on June 8th. Finally, the voice lines will be replaced with crafting materials, and if you complete the whole Battle Pass, you will earn enough materials to craft a legendary item. So that's pretty much it. A lot of people were starting to get worried about Season 2, but I think we can all let out a collective sigh of relief. It's very clear Respawn want to make a much bigger impression with Season 2, and the upcoming content update on June 4 is a nice way of showing that they really mean it. It's clear that whilst Respawn hasn't been so active with Apex Legends so far, they have been listening to the community very, very carefully. Ultimately, I'm really happy to see this out of nowhere from Respawn. It's an active decision for them to keep us on our toes and we really needed this. I think we all knew Season 2 was going to be an improvement, but the extra event tacked on into the end of Season 1 was a nice touch. I feel like, in a way, Respawn weren't quite ready to go forward with the original roadmap. I think they hadn't quite completed the content necessary for Season 1 by the time it came out, and since then, they've essentially been playing catch up. I could be wrong, but let's just hope season two is much better. What are your thoughts on all of this news? Are you excited to see a big change like this coming next week? And are you ready for the battle pass? Just eight days left now, and we'll know all about season two. Hopefully a release date should be announced then too. Oh, and you may have noticed that the channel has been pretty quiet this past week, but don't worry, things will go back to normal starting today. Alright, let me know your thoughts in the comments, I'll see you there. Cheerio!